Here we're going to discuss adding voting items to your meeting. So in COCON Meeting Manager, once you've launched it, you'll have the option to pick between a standard blank meeting template or work with some of the other templates that you've worked with or created in the past. For this, we will create a blank meeting. And now we are in our meeting template. So creating a voting item is very much the same as creating agenda items. So if you're familiar with that, along the left, we can click on the agenda tab. In here, you'll see the agenda is blank because we have a new meeting. Up in the upper left, we can choose add discussion, which is your standard agenda item. You can pick add lecturer, which is a agenda item that's tied to maybe a particular presenter, or you could click add voting. So for this, we'll add a voting item. Now you'll see voting item one has been created. To work on the details of that voting item, simply double click to expand it. And in here, we can start inputting our voting information. So we can put a title for it. So we could say we want a stop sign. So now there's our voting question. We can pick our number of voting options. This can be selected anywhere from five if you're using units with hard voting buttons or even further if you're using multimedia units and it can be reduced as low as two voting options. For this we'll pick the more standard which is our yes no abstain. In here we then have our descriptions that we can put in. So I'm going to type in my different options. If you want multiple voting choices, this is where you could select multiple selections. For this, this is a pretty straightforward vote. You can also click on the abstain to add some more options for how abstain votes are handled. You'll see in this section and others where this little fader or slider bar comes up that as you adjust it, you'll get some feedback based on the setting that you've chosen. So in this case, depending on where we put the slider will depend on how the system treats abstain options. So you can use this along the way as your kind of hints and feedback to what each selection does. So next you'll see along the top, we have some more uh, items, some more settings that we can get into with voting. The next tab is settings. Here you can pick who can participate in the vote. Uh, by default, it picks all units that are voting capable, but you could select options such as only delegates with badges, uh, only delegates that are positioned on a seat, say by an operator, etc. You have some options for who sees the voting results during and after the vote. And again, we have a slider bar that as we adjust it, our information changes to give you some feedback on what each setting allows the system to do. Next tab, there's timer. There's actually two timers. The first timer uh, applies to kind of the voting item as a whole, which is the voting item is an agenda item. Um, the agenda item of that vote could run longer than the actual voting session. So this would be an item. So maybe you wanted to allocate 10 minutes total to this item that includes the discussions and the voting time. That's where you could enable that timer. More specifically, when you click on voting timer, this is the timer of how long the vote can actually be live or open. The timer settings between the two look virtually the same. So for this, I will enable a timer on the voting question itself. So how long the vote will be live. Simply click enable. And then you can pick how long you want the vote to be. You can type or use these arrows. You can have a warning come up at a time that you determine. You can pick if the timer counts up or down. And if you want the timer to be able to exceed and count into the negatives, you can select that box right there. The next tab is quorum. Uh, quorum is basically uh, how many people need to have participated in the vote or selected a certain option to have the vote uh, kind of qualifier pass. If you want to enable quorum, 
you can check this box and a lot of these settings again apply to very specific meetings with quorum uh, if you have specific questions about how each one is handled uh, you can refer to the manual or you can also reach out to anyone at Teledic as well and we can go through these in detail we won't go too far into it for this video the next tab that we have is the outcome so these are settings of maybe saying uh, what percentage of people had to say yes for it to pass or no for it to fail, etc. And you'll see descriptions of each item as you move along. Um, for this, we'll say, let's enable a message for the outcome. If the majority of the vote was achieved, if it was a hung vote, if it's not achieved, what message the system says. And again, uh, you can get into the manual if you want to get into real specifics of this. The next tab is hung vote. Again, we won't go into too much detail, but these are all the different options for how the system treats a hung vote, and you'll see multiple descriptions there. The last tab is document. This applies to systems if you're using our multimedia or unicost units. If you want to have a particular uh, document available during a voting session, maybe for someone to review uh, a drawing or something, uh, something like that, you could add the PDF in here as such. And then when you're done with the voting item, all the changes that you're making are saving along the way. You can simply click in one of the blank spaces here. And let's say you wanted to add another item. You could simply add voting and another voting item will appear here. And again, the same process if you want to work within it. You double click on it and it expands. You also have an option if you want a voting item to be kind of a subset of a larger kind of voting question. You can click this arrow and it will indent the voting item and now you'll see it's changed from 2 to 1.1 so now it's a kind of subset of the first voting item or to move back simply click the arrow that way so that is the overview of the voting please feel free to reference the manuals our website or reach out to anyone at Televic conference uh, for further details we'd be happy to help thanks